FBI is warning San Diegans to be on the lookout for holiday scams. Our Misha DeBono is live in Sorrento Valley with what you need to know. Hi, Misha. Yeah, hi guys, good afternoon. According to the FBI, $2.6 million was scammed from unsuspecting San Diegans last year, and $320,000 happened during the holiday season. So they're putting out this warning. They want everyone to be vigilant. And, um, you know, they say scams, they're always going to be here. They're always the same, but it's the tactics that these bad guys use that can be tricky. We're seeing a lot of people using something from their friends, or they may say, well, prove to me that it's you, and they'll send a picture. They seem reasonable. They look exactly like a vendor you trust, and the offer is just too good to resist. The scammers are pretty crafty. The San Diego office of the FBI is putting out a warning about the potential to be scammed. It happens all year, but especially during the holidays. Whether it's through charity, online shopping, or social media, we all need to do some investigating before clicking. Social media scams, we all see those pop-up ads that have that really cool deal uh, from a, a vendor. You want to be aware of those. With the ease and popularity of performing most tasks online, it's not hard to see how one can become a victim. Last year, San Diegans lost $2.6 million to scams and more than $320,000 of that total happened during the holidays. It's the method and the techniques that scammers use to get people because when you start to, to catch on to them, like, oh, okay, we got to check. So we got to change up how we're doing things. So we really want people to uh, be wary of clicking on links. Uh, if you didn't order a package, if you know you didn't order something from Amazon and then you get an unsolicited message saying that something was wrong and they're asking for public, uh, personal information, it's probably a scam. Scams using social media are tricky to spot. Consumers need to be aware of sites that offer vouchers, gift cards that appear as holiday promotions or contests. They may seem to come from a friend who shared a link. Often these tactics are to get you to provide personal information by taking a survey. Take a step back and do some investigating. If you see that a vendor is has a great deal, go directly to the merchant's website and see if the deal matches up with what's in the ad. And if you are the victim of a scam, there are some things you can do. First, you want to go to the merchant, report it, report it to your bank, your credit card, and then you can call the FBI. They have a special website set up where they'll take all the information, all the data, they put it into a larger database so that they can learn from it, but also they can help you if you've lost some money, get your money back. From Sorrento Valley, Misha DeBono, Fox 5 News. Criminal